The Presidio Forest was an idea that was born out of the army. They have got thousands and thousands of trees into sand dunes and grasslands, and they intentionally placed the species that they thought might do well. And their intention was to come back later and thin them out so that they could be healthy and big. They never did that. The trees that are currently growing from those original army plantings in the 1800s have gotten to the end of their life. And many of them are not healthy. So during years when there's a lot of water and a lot of wind, and we have this unhealthy stand, we are gonna to continue to see failures, especially when we had years of drought, which we anticipate over the next many decades to become more extreme. So what we have been doing since the Presidio became a national park is to remove these unhealthy stands and then replanting them. We're reforesting in the park. It's essential that we get to this now and be proactive as opposed to reactive when the entire forest is dead. So we want to make sure that when we reforest this time, we do it in a way that makes the forest healthy and sustainable for the long term. We're trying to create a mixed aged forest. So that's why we're coming in and removing sections at a time, roughly a half acre to an acre every year so that we create that kind of stepped forest that you would see in nature. In addition to replanting trees, something the Army never did was to bring in an understory, the vegetation that grows below the tree canopy and is incredibly important to the biodiversity that we're also trying to support as a national park. But we can't just walk away from this and let it take care of itself. It is an asset that we are stewarding into the future. What we hope that people will see as this park grows and thrives is a place of beauty, inspiration, and biodiversity that provides the ability to be in nature in an urban environment and feel as though there's no city around them.